are we talking about today, anyways? <laughs> Doesn't even know what we're talking Y'all, about in golf cart talk. We're starting this off though. We're real good. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to internet. welcome to golf cart talk. <laughs> I thought you said welcome to Gotham at first. I was oh like, why are you welcoming gosh. people to Gotham? Today, I am with Zach Nelson. What's up? And uh, he is driving the golf cart today. Well, tempting to. Very, a very new experience for him. Golf All right. What golf cart skills? I have zero golf cart skills. Onward and forward we go. I think I need a seatbelt for this. Oh, shut up. I am a great <laughs> driver. Where Run this way. This is gonna be too fun. So today on Golf Cart Talks, we are talking about the pros and cons of college. Are there any pros? I don't even know where we begin with this, to be honest. Um, I realize this is probably a little bit controversial to... This way, nope. this way. Right, right. Well, you didn't tell me. You just said, right. I don't want to roll you, so I'm going slowly. Oh, okay. I realize this topic is a little controversy to controversial to your parents probably <laughs> to well to parents and just to society's standards in general uh, because that's that's what we've been told you're supposed to do you're supposed to go to college and you're supposed to get a degree and then after that you get a job and then thus you are now in the real world you're basically told there's no other way to do it while we are pretty biased I would say since neither of us have graduated from college both of us have been to college and we feel like we can talk about the pros and cons because while you know we didn't feel like it was the right path for us there are definitely some pros and there are definitely paths well, I would, I would say that do require you to go to college yeah. like there are some paths that that is the way you should go you definitely do need to go to college you do need to get your degree um, and sometimes you have to go on past that and get your master's and go on past that and get your doctorates. The first pro for me uh, doesn't really have anything to do with the schooling aspect of it or getting your degree. No, I feel that college does teach you responsibility in the aspect of it teaches you how to manage your time and manage your schedule. It teaches you how to prioritize play versus work. It teaches you the value of money and how to responsibly spend your money. A back and forth on that teaches you to be responsible with money though, because a lot of people go into a lot of debt going into college. Well, that's part which... of my con. But I'm saying like while you're in school, it teaches you like, should I save this money for books or should I save this money to go out for party? Because I don't have the ability to do both. But that's I what I'm saying, is it? Books, so I'm okay, or do, do I, do I save my money for groceries or do I spend my money on clothes? Like in that aspect, it it teaches you responsibility. And for most people, when you go off to college, that's your first time being on your own. You got anything to say? For a pro for going to college? Pros, we're talking about pros first. I'd say a positive thing about going to college is one, um, the social aspect of it. And also for certain jobs, you do need college. Like there are a few jobs you definitely need in college for. Like if you're trying to become a lawyer, you're trying to become a doctor, something like that. Like you, there isn't really another path to get there besides actually going to college. So a lot of it is dependent on what what your career path is and what you want to do with your life. There are definitely a lot of career fields where you do have to go to college, but then there are also a lot of career fields where you don't have to go to college. I would say another pro for me is that it teaches you perseverance and it teaches you how to stick with something. Like there are certain classes you have to take. There is a certain amount of time that you have to stay in school, like it teaches you how to start something and finish something. Are we still on the pros? Uh, did you have any others? I, I no. <laughs> okay, so on the con side, while there are certain career fields that do require you to go to school, I do believe there are also a lot of career fields that you do not have to go to school and get a degree in order to be working that kind of job jobs like anything in entertainment if you are going to college for a music degree for a an, a drama or acting degree yeah. unless you are going to become a school teacher after that you do not need that degree or that piece of paper in order to work in that field i would say especially the way social media has changed Everything has changed life. There are so many people that are able to start up their own businesses now and you don't have to have that degree to do it. Like that piece of paper is not going to guarantee anything for you. 
It's not going to guarantee a job. It's not going to guarantee success. Which brings us to the other con of, if that does not guarantee anything, you are just racking up a lot of debt for yourself. College is very, very expensive, especially if you go to a private school. If your degree does not guarantee you a job after school, how are you gonna pay off that debt? You've just racked up $100,000 worth of college debt and no job to pay that off. I, I would also say for a lot of us, it's sort of along those same points, we have a lot of friends that have graduated college and really just don't have a job yet that can even pay for their debt, let alone even be out on their own. It's like when you're when you graduate, most people want to be on their own. Like they graduate, they're like, yes, it's my time to finally be on my own. But if you have well, you've been you on know, your own for four years, and now you have to go back debt, home. You you might have to live at home for a while just to pay off that debt. So having not had that debt, if you find something that you're really good at. And you can prove to people, you know, I have a lot of experience in this area. You can actually get hired doing certain things. Like I would say for people, if you're interested in marketing or something like that, social media has become a huge, huge part of marketing at this point. So if you really know social media and know how to like make a brand out of something or drive a lot of attention to products or different things like that, you can get a job in like marketing as well. Why do I feel like we're like 30 miles away from your house now? Because we went the long way. We're halfway to like Texas already. Like, let's go. We're in Narnia. A lot of getting a job really comes down to is having connections and knowing people. Most people are getting jobs based off, oh, you have a friend who knows this person, or you know, you you are friends with the person, yeah. or your parents are friends well, with somebody. Well, so that could be a good thing about college too, is that you do meet a lot of you do. People. No, I agree with that. That's what the social aspect um, of it is great. But again, college is not the only place where you can meet people. Any well, other cons to address? Besides the massive debt and no guarantee for a job? I think that's the biggest thing for me, yeah, is just the debt that it racks up and the fact that it's not even a guarantee. I would just say, also this, if there's something you love to do with your life and you don't need college for it, going to college is just taking away your time from doing the job that you want to do or starting a career going the direction you want to. So if you're going to spend four years of your life doing something that you're just going to regret, it's not worth it. Now, in, in other senses too, there are some people that might not go to college and regret having not gone to college. Like if you're offered a full scholarship to a college, it makes sense to take that if you aren't 100% sure what you want to do with your life yet. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, getting a regular degree isn't necessarily a bad thing if it's not going to make you go in debt. If you have enough scholarship that is really going to cost you almost nothing to go to college, it's not going to put you back to have gotten a degree if you aren't already working towards a certain direction with your career. Obviously, we are within the music and entertainment industry and we are building our own business and our own brand and college can't teach you. Yes how to be an entertainer and college doesn't really teach you anything about social media or building your own business i mean they have like a, a generic you know i mean I, I, business marketing but it's like they can't teach you the creative aspects and, and i can say this because so i mean i took business classes in college i took marketing classes i took managerial classes like i took a lot of stuff i took law classes as well and it's like yeah. the stuff that i learned I in took, those were yeah. all things that i had read like I had read in books before, I had read in classes, or I had just learned by, this makes sense. It's a $20 book versus like, a $20,000 tuition. I would argue you can learn a lot more from reading than you can from just going to college and getting a degree. Because you get to choose what you need to learn. So to wrap that up, yes, there definitely are jobs where you are required to go to college. You do have to get that degree. But there are also a lot of career options that do not require you to go to college. So just in closing, just because society says that this is the path, this is what you have to do. Everyone has to go to college. Everyone has to get a degree. That's not the case for some people. As an announcement too, before we get off, I wanna say that we are actually doing a meetup here in Georgia at the end of December. It's going to be December 30th in Peachtree City around three o'clock. I'll leave all of the information and the details down below so you can check that out. Uh, and we would so we love hope to, to see you there. Yes, we can take pictures, we can hang out, meet you, hug you, all of you beautiful people. That is all for Golf Cart Talks today. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. We will see you guys.
guys next time. Bye! See you guys.